part of my experimentation with building the busker involved making some of the pipes to see how they turned out. The original design suggested that balsa could be used for the pipes. My first pipe I made out of oak. I just happened to have the right thickness of some oak planks that I made to use on this. Oak is not a very good choice of wood. It tends to be porous. It has a lot of holes in it sometimes. This was a pretty good piece of wood. And I sealed the inside and outside with varnish on this one. And it seems to play quite well. This was actually my, my second pipe. The first pipe I made out of balsa. One of, the, uh, one of the deals on his plans, when he gives dimensions, he, he gives partial dimensions. He'll give you a, an inside dimension for a piece of wood. And then he says, add wood. Well, what that means is you need to add the thickness of two pieces of wood on, on either side of his dimension. So the first pipe, it was made incorrectly. Then when I was making the next pipe, which was supposed to be this one, I did the same thing again. I forgot to add the thickness of the wood. So one thing I've learned in this is that I'm going to have to redraw his dimensions and make sure that I'm not having to uh, pay attention to a bunch of other stuff when I start cutting. This is the highest note on the busker. It's a D. This is a high G. This is a mid-range G. And this pipe is a B flat. This is next to the lowest note on the busker. And the reason for it being cut and mitered is so it will fit inside the organ. There are a total of five pipes that are mitered in one way or another to fit inside the cabinet. I had heard comments from some people saying that the dimensions for the, some of the pipes were too short. And at this point in time, I would have to agree. The original length of this pipe was supposed to be 400 millimeters. 400 millimeters, this is about 140 along this edge and about 203 along this edge. So another 57 millimeters would get you up to here. So from here all the way around to here would be 400 millimeters. Then they say you should add another 10%. Now some, some length is lost in the width of the saw blade on these, on these two cuts, but not that much. Uh, 400 millimeters would get you to here. Another 10% would get you to 440. And that tuning plug, the bottom of that tuning plug is about here. So I would add about 20 or 25 percent to the length, certainly on some of these larger pipes. When I made this, I made it quite a bit longer. It was originally about that long. And I had one, two, three, four saw cuts that came off of that. So, so I would make it quite a bit longer so you have sufficient pipe to trim back when you're tuning. The highest note on the busker is a D. This pipe was made from balsa and it's sealed on the inside with glue and water. A high G. The pipe's made of balsa, sealed on the inside with glue and water. mid-range G. This pipe was made out of oak and it was sealed inside and out with varnish. This is next to the lowest note on the busker. It's a B flat. I made this out of recycled pallet wood. The inside is sealed with glue and water, and the outside has a coat of varnish on it. I've learned quite a bit from building this from the experiment standpoint. All the materials I used in this were scrap materials. 
uh, not the best quality plywood. Some of this plywood is from overseas. It's very splintery, it's porous, doesn't have very good glue joints on the plywood itself. I'm surprised some of it's holding air at all, especially pieces like this and what I used on this valve box. The actual organ will be built out of Baltic birch plywood. I forgot to varnish the inside of the bellows and the reservoir before I installed the leather. So the actual organ will have all those internal areas sealed. The flapper valves and the bellows will be changed and the manifold block that connects the reservoir to the actual air box on the organ is an area that I think needs improvement. It needs a larger seal surface. So anyway, I hope you guys got an idea of how the busker works or how some of the internal parts of the busker works. I think this will be real handy for testing the pipes as I build them for the actual organ. Since I am just now getting ready to build the busker, it will be a while before that project is completed.